YouTube and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timber Barn, where I'm pretty happy with where we're at, sort of. We've got sluice gates in, which is fantastic, which means this is all automated now, which is even better. That means I don't have to stare at this as we're running into the bad tides from now on. So that's great. And we could start uh, putting back material and all of the fun things in order to make this great or even greater, I should say. And then, uh, well, then the bad tide hit. So we couldn't actually do the other fun things on this side. Yet, uh, I'm not I'm not too thrilled about that. But it's okay. We've got plenty of things to do, I think. I get up here and take advantage of all these ruins up here that we need to get to. Something, uh, something, same thing over here as well, dark side. And that's, that's what we're going to have to work on today. We're going to need a lot of metal. So that means expanding our smelting system here so we need more smelters we need more power for more smelters to actually get that keep uh, get that rolling and of course we need to keep an eye on all of this down here and i want them to keep working on this because this is going to be what's going to hold us or make things great er greater is that the word i think that's the word i'm looking for that's going to make things greater for us if we could store even more water back in here that would be fantastic. That also means coming over here and laying down a bunch of levees. So I think that's one of the things that we're going to focus on today. That probably means expanding the beaver population yet again. I think we have the capability to do so without any issues. We've got plenty of food. We, we've expanded our food growing area that we could actually get some more, uh, probably more, uh, I don't know. What are we going to put in here? Probably something edible, which will be great. Okay, not gummies. We're not putting gummies in here. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to let the beavers do anything ridiculous that makes them sick. Okay? We're, we've avoided that. We're better than that. We've gotten to the point where we don't have to send them into the bad part and bad water. Okay? Uh, that being said, let's get into the game. Let's go ahead and hit three, three times at speed. Let's see how things are going. I believe we do have a... Uh, a good bit of this bad tide left. We've got 12 days or 11.2 days left. We have that building that is flooded. That's the brand new building. That's our, our lovely bad water rig, which we don't have access to yet because, well, a bunch of bad water in there. That could be fixed, though, by an easy completion of that dam. Boom. All that'll drain out. Then we can actually get some stairs into there and let things work properly for them. And then we'll have delicious delicious bad water all the days for all the reasons which will be fantastic i am going to let that finish draining out once they get these last few logs which they need a lot of logs for all of this system over here they are still building all of this so i'm gonna let them take advantage of that and as soon as those are all picked up then i'll delete this next one and then we'll let that process repeat until they are ready to go and now we can connect this building up and now we'll have access to all the bad water we're gonna pull that down to three because that's how many beavers we had floating around that weren't doing anything we can actually go ahead and tear these out because they are unnecessary that'll give us some metal blocks as well as some gears and some log back which would be even better which means we can do even greater things with their time fantastic all right that is in, that is in. I think what we can do is probably tear out one of these gear workshops. Probably even two of these gear workshops. I don't think that they are necessary. That was our speed run to get the appropriate amount of gears for this uh, bad water rig. That's why we had those additional ones in there. I don't find them to be absolutely necessary. So we'll go ahead and throw in some additional smelters. We're going to need the smelters in the future anyway when we start doing timber bots because they do require a lot of metal to keep running. So we'll let them work on that. And as soon as those pop up and these uh, kits start growing up and reaching maturity, we could start throwing them in and, uh, well, getting them to work where they belong. No, that's not it. We're nice to our beavers, okay? All right. So this is all empty. Uh, hopefully we can get this water in here faster than that. That should just flow right in. And everything's green again. Everything's good. Everything's Gucci. Okay. 
hopefully that should be enough we didn't overflow so that's good it's enough water to keep that actually uh, usable for them so that should be good all right now we've got all of this land workable land to play with so let's go ahead and throw on some more food stuffs um something edible we have plenty of wheat i don't think that we actually need to do more wheat nothing wrong with more potatoes we need proper storage for all of our base materials we don't actually have that we've got good storage for all of our end materials so we've got 1800 units of bread available 2200 carrots we have a bunch of chestnuts available 1800 potatoes and then 500 so another 1200 spider dock potential and maple pastries are slowly coming in maybe no i don't think that's necessary um well i do already have a tapper shack here but we've got plenty of maple syrup over here right i don't think that that's uh required yeah, between those two tapper shacks, we should be able to keep up with the de the maple syrup man. Hopefully, we'll keep an eye on that as things progress. But for now, I think what we're gonna do here is go ahead and throw in some more potatoes because everybody likes potatoes. And if push comes to shove, we can use these additional potatoes to actually start making the uh, uh, our yummy stuff for our timber bots, wherever that is. What is that called? Um. can't remember the name of this uh the fuel for the timber bots that's on me my bad i'll remember it as soon as it's necessary to remember it all right checking on the water water's doing just fine let's check on our smiley face yep still in there good good um and then we've got this i think they've got the majority of this cleaned up they do we'll go ahead and delete this last piece of this dam right here and as soon as they get that kick up we can start taking out this levee which would be fantastic all right let's check on this system over here we do have all the pine tree coming in right now so that's good we need the lumber like right now right now we can tear into all this which wouldn't be too bad we do have actual resin popping up or is that just a visual anomaly nope we do have some resin actually here so that's good so we do have this guy Working in the tapper shack, doing all of that. You know what? I wonder. No. We could take advantage of all this area. And someone has pointed this out in the past, so I should probably do that. Let's throw in another forester. Uh, probably... I think right here wouldn't be too bad. We can do the same thing over here. Bada bing, bada boom. And that would be good. Now, do we want to come up here while they're building that down there? What does it require to cap this off? We've got bad water dome, 200 gears, 100 regular planks, and 100 metal blocks. We have all of that. We do have all of that. I think it's time to block that off. Can't really take it. We could take advantage of it as a power source. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, again this is the timber or the the folktales i know how to speak the english language we are playing with the folktales so they don't actually have the capability to turn on the bad water uh so to speak for indefinite time so we can't really take advantage of perpetual energy systems with these guys so we'll, we're just gonna cap this off we don't really need the bad water since we already have the one bad water rig over there Yo, I have no qualms. Come on, game. Don't fight me. And then it will be even better. We'll be in an even better position. Jeez. I know how to English. Sweet. Badwater Dome. We've got 2,000. We have 13,000 signs. Okay, that's fine. We can drop the 2K there. No issue. Um, we are going to pause this, though. And we're going to do what we did with the other system. We're going to actually put in a couple of these in here so that they don't have to run nearly as far i don't know if i can actually shove that in in anywhere here so let's see i guess that'll have to do there and then we'll put in our gears right here so that was thanks gears metal block 
So we'll put metal blocks here. This will be gears and you will be pipe. And that should not be too much of an ask. I already set these to obtain so that, that doesn't come to bite us. But later, they should be able to accomplish that. We have plenty of all of the above. It's just a matter of getting enough haulers to run that. And we're already out of all the beavers right now. So that's that's good to see. They're all injured. Yeah, that yeah, because they're all working through the smelters right here. Whoops. Hit it. Great. Do, 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 do we have the capacity to actually break into that now? Out of assemblers. That's 50 metal blocks. 50 gears. Hmm. We could, in theory, do it. The problem is, when we dip into timber bots, we're going to need to expand our water production capability because these guys will eat the water just as fast as our actual beavers will and that's uh that's not good i have run into issues like that in the past where i've overextended our capacity to actually provide water for the beavers because well we pumped everything dry and the timber bots required a magic poop ton of water to actually stay afloat as well so we're going to try to avoid that this time that also means continuing to expand our expand our water saving capacity so that probably means coming over here as well and prepping the battle space for our new levy that we're going to have over here that means getting all the way up here and probably taking advantage of all of this free lumber that's over here. That's not where that is supposed to go. So go ahead and delete that and get this in right here. And run this along here. Now we do have this lumber here. That's a bunch. Not a bunch. That's maybe enough for three levees right there. So that's not the best that's fine we'll let that we'll let that be down there and go ahead and pull in like so and boom i think that saved us all of three levies by doing that little corner but it's okay all right um so this isn't good everything that is in here is probably going to find the finest way to not good land so that's that's great we are able to actually start pulling in some of these oak trees so that's cool but i don't have the beavers to actually throw in there because the moment i turn those on it's all gonna just pull from our haulers which we need to do all the rest of the things so we're we're in a beautiful situation right here okay so i'm gonna pause the explosives manufacturer or the spokes explosive factory because i don't think that's entirely necessary and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You've got nothing to do with in range, so you are now deleted. You can go do something productive with your life that's not doing that. And we could probably do the same thing over here. Well, that, that's not what I meant to say. We're going to put this in over here so we can do something productive with all of this land. Go ahead and pull that up. And I still need to get over here, figure out the beaver situation so that I can get all of this torn up because we need a, all of that lumber we did save a couple positions we do have 10 uh hits growing up right now so that's good i think we can go ahead and unpause a couple of these. so we'll unpause this side set these up prioritized by haulers that's not going to be an issue they can come over here pull that up without any problems that's where we lost a few of the positions though because those did go in and let's see here Mm, I don't think we care for any more maple. So let's do more oak. We've already got one lumberjack flag right there. We'll go ahead and throw in another and a teeth grindstone right now. Just so they don't have to run nearly as far. Delete this gatherer flag. Go ahead and put in a grindstone right here delete this other gatherer flag that's entirely unnecessary 
throw on this contamination barrier actually that's not necessary either so they already have this built here that's just waiting on some logs that should come in they are bringing the metal blocks up here let's go ahead and prioritize this by haulers and get that running as fast as possible as fast as beaverly possible as one would one could say all right that's already going in so that's fantastic we'll put in some more oak down here like so that'll we're gonna have so much oak we're not we're gonna have so much wood I, I don't know what we're gonna do with it all i really don't now this is all gonna get uh dried out here shortly because well all of this is about to dry out probably within this day so that's good i could dump this into here and let that guy continue to work that's probably not the best idea but i'll do it we'll see what happens he's probably not going to be able to keep up the demand for everything but that guy let's see wolfen i believe in you you could do it my guy <laughs> We'll see if we'll, we're actually able to keep up with that. If push comes to shove, we could throw in an additional fluid dump to maybe keep up with that. And hopefully they can get this finished soon. We do have the lumber now. It's just a matter of cutting it down and uh, doing something with it productively. Go. Um, where? What to do? What to do? We need more beavers. So that means finding a place to put more beepers I don't want to put anything up here because that's where we're going to put more batteries and more of our large windmills mm. let's see could put one back in here and be close to all this maybe they'd actually I'll go in here and take advantage of that. I doubt that's actually how that's going to work. But you know what? We'll throw on some more housing. That's that's a wonderful thing, right? That's not going to fit there. So that's not going to go there. Um, Let's see. That won't fit there either. And boo. All right. Go ahead. Grab this button. We'll connect that path up. So that's already connected. Free education connection. That we're going to throw in our wonderful piece of our roof tile here that will green that up you aren't able to keep up with the demand at all which stinks um i would be able to do it my guy i thought you could do it i really did what i get for thinking you know what i get for thinking um yeah that's not the prettiest but you know what it's fine it's okay that's all yeah that's all all that's gone i knew it was gonna happen this is why i wanted this stuff to be taken care of why oh because i had this priority this priority dropped because i wanted them to focus on other things so oop, oop, oop. it'll take a few seconds to get over here that's okay um hmm but well, Wolfen's trying, okay? He's trying his best. He kept the food green, so that's that's all that really matters. We we lost a little bit of our spatter dock and some of our cattail, but we've got cattail over here. Did I put spatter dock in here? I did. So I think we're fine. We lost some of the excess, which stinks. Yeah, I hate to see it, but we're trying to fix that, okay? We're trying our best. Is this clean water yet? No. Can you hurry up and be clean water now? I really should have pulled this forward over here. Maybe I'll do that instead of using this when I come over here and build our levee system. Or our um, loose gates. I'll put, put that right here so it's a straight cut across. Yeah, I think I like that idea. So we'll go ahead and dump that. We'll get some of our clean water in. That would be great. Let's check this out. And then we can go ahead and throw in our sluice gates down here. Like yes. I think that's how we want that to work. 
probably don't need that many, but it's okay. Then, like so, and such as. Beautiful. So, that could go in at its own pace. I don't know if this is actually all connected. It is not. So that's, that's a good thing, because we don't want them running through all this poo water. We do need to get them over here somehow, though. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to build that, which brings us to this over here. We already have this going, so we could run up this way. I think that's how we'll do it. All right. Um, well, this is going to actually push water into here. We did want to, at some point, get into this situation and put some even more water in here. Which would be good. Dump this because I need I need clean water into this this here. Now we do need water in here, so I will pull this back up so that we can fill this in. This will turn green or good blue water eventually, so that that'll be fantastic. And actually that should open now, right? What is it saying? Contamination's at 2%. As soon as that drops to 1%, now it's going to open up. There it goes. Nice, clean water coming out. No issues. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. That's getting knocked out. That's glorious. Okay, I think... I still haven't figured this out. I really do need to figure this out. Um, I think if I do something like this... That should, in theory, open that up when it's at, uh, when it's a, below 0.65, right? Yes. And then it'll close above that, meaning it'll keep all the rest of this in. So if I were to pull this down, let some of the water in here, if this is at 0.65, then it, or below 6.5, it'll keep this open, allowing the water to flow through. And this is 0.66, right? So that should, in theory, close now? Or we want this at 0.6. So now it's closed, because this water is at 0.6, right? Yes. Okay, so that's cool. The problem with that is it's going to flood everything. That's that's not cool. We don't want that. <laughs> um, two. Let's go ahead and help these guys out a little bit. Tell them to put some logs into here. Make that the higher priority. We'll set that to obtain. And let's see. Do we have... How is this coming along? We need this actually built a little bit before any of that. This is filling in, so that's cool. That's the problem that we have here, though. I can't really do that. I can't do this quite yet, because... I need... I, I need to be able to pull the water out, and if this is flooded, then I can actually do anything with that. So, that's, that's good to know that it, it works as advertised. Now, everything's flooding, but it's okay. The flooding will end. Eventually. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Yes. I think. 95% sure. <laughs> Eventually, everything will be fine. Please stop flooding. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. We've got three days to our first... Or to our next drought. That's great. I need them to build this real quick, which shouldn't take them too long. They just need some logs over here. I probably could put in some, well, this side's popped as well. So let's get some more beavers over here to actually start cleaning some of that up. This isn't going anywhere because we don't really have a place to store any of this additional spatter dock. So that's fun. Um, we don't need anybody sitting in here or in this one that I'm about to place because, well... There's nothing for them to cut down. I do need to make sure that this is already set to cut, though. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and do nothing with their little beavery hands. 
And we don't want that. We want them being productive members of Beaver Society as opposed to sitting on the rumps and doing nothing. Because we're good. We're good beaver overlords like that. Right? I think so. Alright, that's what I'm going to tell myself so I can sleep at night. So you guys don't worry about that. Okay? Okay? We good? We good. Pull that up because I do want some more of that water in here. Once I get this situated back here and then once the during the drought we get this low enough i'll tear this out raise it up a level and then we'll have access to even more of this water for a prolonged period of time and then we can drop so we're gonna have to have a layer below where it is currently so that we can pull the water from the bottom of the reservoir and then we're going to need another set one higher than what they're at right now in order to actually pull the water from the top of the reservoir because, well, you can't work in a flooded building, even though they're beavers. I'm not going to question it. Just, I'm just, it's fine. Fine. Prioritize that by hollers. They can get some, someone over here. Where are all of the hollers? Guys. This filling up. Did this this is going in here. This is going in here. Why does it feel like we're not getting that much in the way of law? Store store some of that water back in here. That'll be good. This is filling in. Okay, that's fine. That's almost full. That will start to flow over here now. Healer? Please? Please and thank you. Run the water. Now. Okay, it's just gonna make me into a liar. Okay, let it I'll let it be. It can figure out its life choices. I do need some more lumberjacks over here. I, I absolutely do need some more lumberjacks. Okay, we can we have the technology. We could do it. Set these up. Uh, I can't actually set them up to be prioritized by howlers until they're actually put in. They're all occupado, though, because they're over here building all of this, which is totally fine. It's not. We're not going to be able to take advantage of that anytime soon. This is in. That's flooding yet again. Please stop flooding. I would. I would greatly appreciate. Yeah, if you stop. Could you? Could you stop with the flooding, please? Just a little bit. No. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much for not continuing to flood all of the things. Um, That's at 1.85. That's fine. I would like to close this, actually, for this last little bit of the day. Um, how do I, how do I close this? I just click the close button. Okay. Well, that didn't help anything. It's too late. Well, okay. Open her up. Let the last bit of the water in. That's fine. It's a 22 day drought. All right. That's, that's fine. We saved a bit of water back up in here. So that'll be good. We'll be able to pull a little bit down into here got a little bit caught there that's fine that'll keep this irrigated for a period of time we'll probably run into the same problem with the spatter dock again because we don't have the the schlitz to keep all of that irrigated you don't need to be working in there right now because you're just pumping water into a full system so we don't need that to go any further i do want i know i don't want to put in additional dams to try to keep all of this irrigated with some with our guys here i don't think that that's absolutely required but it's it is what it is we need to then we need to can somebody come over here and build these two for me please and thank you and that's in that's good that means we should have a few more kits floating around we do we're at 16 kits which is glorious and fantastic that's what you want to see 
it means that uh well within the next six to nine days we'll have a few more kits that are finally mature and then they can actually do productive things with their lives let's help them be a bit more happier about their life choices though and turn that on and uh yeah this is almost done over here that's good now we do need like i said this one higher as mentioned before because this is going to be higher than it currently is and then we're going to need one lower i don't don't know if or how i want to accomplish that i could just well i could blast all this out i should blast all this out down into here make this a much deeper pool you know make it all nice and flat and he's still smiling at us um maybe do that because this is where we're well maybe blast all this out would that be a bad idea it'd be it would take a long time we've got plenty of explosives make this deeper all the way across we're gonna have to figure out or tear this out we do want to tear this out eventually um so that wouldn't be a problem now that's that's i think that's one of those super speed up montages that we're probably not going to do today so i'm going to keep that in the back of my nugget maybe that can be something fun and amazing that we'll do go in here with some triple dynamite and blast all this out make it a huge reservoir filled with all the water oh, we could ever hope for but we do need some point to get down to get that last little well we shouldn't okay i'll i'll let that sit in the back i'll let that stew we'll let that stew it's fine it's okay this is going in so that's really good you don't need to be sat here on your bum because there's nothing for you to do right now these two or these four did go in so that's good that means they can help out with all the chopping which is fantastic um you already are prioritized by water i could probably pause you uh, uh, ah. uh, mm, ah. wow i can i know how to orate logs are still holding us back do we have the capacity to throw in? I think we do. How is this coming along? We're on the last few bits of the ruins right here, so that's good. Alright. Gonna delete that. Delete that. Gonna throw it. Go ahead and throw in our underground piles. That was logs there, if I'm not mistaken. So this one will make into crap this one will make into metal blocks the next one i believe planks are already good logs are good we've got metal blocks what else go into one of these sparkly planks do we want to put more sparkly planks in here i don't think that's necessary we can't turn this one into sparkly planks which is the worst thing that we do with our time and, and, and efforts that is almost done. The fact that this guy isn't yelling at me saying that he has nothing to do right now is baffling, but now they have nothing to do. So we can go ahead and delete these two positions. They can come over here and clean up some of that. I should have just let them stay in there. So it's not the builders moving this material, it's the haulers, but that's okay. Could let them finish these two real quick. These are essentially done like give us some sunflower seed maple pastry storage which would be good um we do still have the explosives sitting over here so i think what we're going to do is click this button and go ahead and tell them to stop planting these sunflower seeds right here this will all turn green because we're going to make this into a nice little thing here, I think. I wish the sluice gates would read one side or the other, right? Because they don't, they don't read both sides, right? 
three the downstream. Great, but I I want to be able to control this side of the of the system as well. This side's too full. Open up to allow the good water in, or the bad water in, or whatever it is too, right? But alas, it does not work that way. So we're just gonna have to accept it as it is, which is sad. Okay. That'll be some water that we can feed over to here. This will irrigate even more of this land. So we could, I don't think the farmers can reach over here that well, but we could put some more farming over here. That'd be good. And that will feed this system. So we don't have to rely too heavily on uh, lower star cutter there for all of the things. This is going in nicely. Maple syrup is actually doing great. We probably want to expand this storage here because we're going to be eating through this maple syrup like no one's business. So I believe everything's still full. And this is nearing peak capacity. So we'll go ahead and help these guys out with some haulers. Which we do now have, which is great. Y'all are sat on your bums doing nothing because you just finished planting all of that. How is this coming along? This should be ready for us, right? That's not prioritized. None of that's made it over here yet. None of that has either. Planks are already in. We can unpause this. Let's go ahead and get somebody over here and that shouldn't take too long. We could probably unprioritize these by haulers actually just set those to obtain i think that nope planks were good on so i don't think we need any more of those we just need the gears to make their way over here and then the builders once they get the opportunity to put that in that'll be great that means we won't have to deal with any of these contamination barriers in the future that means we're just gonna have clean water on this side forever right no because we don't have this side or all this bad water pushed off anywhere we don't have the bad water on this side actually cleaned up and dealt with so or yet i should say we don't have that cleaned up and dealt with yet could in the future do something about that but i don't think that's where we're going to be able to get to Let's see Let's see that went in that's good that's fantastic that'll boost up their their happiness levels that'll be in glorious tastic we have a flooded building that's in that's known that's no longer needed to be prioritized you guys can actually empty this out you don't need that over there anymore so that's good that all went in really fast can you guys actually reach that no you cannot so i need to give you this one little thing right now now you can reach all that glorious go ahead and put in our close-ups there that'll do good things for us i think they can reach all of that great now these guys are all emptying this out i told them to do that so that's what they're doing right now all right let's see here so i think uh, what we're going to need to do now let's go ahead and throw in some more Lumberjack flags. I know that I have put in a few already over here and over here, but it doesn't seem like we're actually yep, put them in. As far as the uh the takedown is required. So let's go ahead and throw in a few more. It shouldn't be too much of an ask. We'll get some help over here with some of the haulers. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for them. Probably throw a few over here as well. Just because there's a lot of lumber over here not being taken full advantage of. And uh I was thinking. I had to take a short break between these two cuts, so I apologize. I'm thinking that maybe it's time that we break into something a little bit more entertaining. More than I planned to originally yesterday. More than I originally planned to. We got this in. That's good. We got this in. We got uh, our smelter in, so that's fantastic. This is in, so that's awesome. We have an excess amount of metal or ruins that we can pull from now 
uh, without any issue. That is cleared out, so we can expand this a little bit. I'm thinking at this point, time to play with some timber bots. So let's go ahead and do that. Didn't initially plan on pulling out timber bots today, but might as well. We've got the technology. We have the power. So let's uh, let's do it. We'll go ahead and pull out these bot factories. That'll be three of those. We'll throw in a bot assembler. And this will be a good starting point. All of the material for all the systems are right here. Um, this is going to require for our bot chassis. So let's go ahead and look at the bot factory first. So that's going to be planks. We're going to need metal blocks. And we're going to need a refinery going so we can get biofuel. Simple. And we're going to need planks and gears, which we have an abundance abundance of. We'll probably throw in a few more gear manufacturers to keep up with demand. Because two isn't going to keep up with the demand for, or even three isn't going to keep up the demand for all the bot factories. Because each of these, for these limbs and for the heads, we're going to need a lot of gears to keep running. And those take about three hours to run, if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be an additional uh, plank and metal blocks so that's going to be metal blocks will be able to keep up with the demand between these two without any issue the bot limbs that's going to be a huge problem we're not going to be able to keep up with the demand for that because they, they, they cut through those pretty quickly it only takes them a couple hours to produce a few bot limbs but uh, as far as the production of the bot heads and the bot chassis it, it, it about matches out so We've got all of that in. It's probably going to cost a lot more material than we have on hand available. I actually, I think we're going to be fine. Everything should be right here with no issue. Uh, they are actually working on this over here as well, but everything is already over here and that shouldn't take them too long to accomplish. They'll be able to pull all the appropriate materials out here. So that uh, should be good. So let's go ahead and get the game plan again so that we can actually keep up what's going on and we can see some productive things being accomplished with our with our beavers okay we have one flooded building where is that hiding that's that one there that's not an issue not an issue at all we'll go ahead and delete that one and see if we can throw in that right here yeah so that covers those few places right there that's already covered and that covers those guys okay cool that's gonna be great Water we're doing okay on. I did need to actually expand our water production capacity because the bots do pull a lot of water. And I think I talked about that already. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of that. And we've pulled this up a little bit and I wanted to actually pull this up a little bit more. So let's see here. And demolish these two, pull up the platforms one more bit, and then have a line of platforms going down another layer down from this point. Not, I'm not entirely sure if that's necessary right now, but uh, it shouldn't take them but a day to rebuild all of these. Could put in some temporary. Yeah, I think the smart maneuver is to put in some, some temporary water pumpers while all of that is going. We'll go ahead and delete that and maybe throw in some explosives real quick. So we can blast this down a little bit. We can have full access to all of that. And do the same thing over here. Give this a priority bump. They are working on that uh, cap over here, so that's good, which it should be be nearly finished just need those last few gears to go ahead last 50 gears we've still got over 400 gears rolling around that's done so we don't need them bringing over any more of that that's good as well so we don't need any more of those gears are all on hand we can actually tell them to empty this here soon we've got eight more gears that need to go in this more seconds we do have 11 beavers running around not doing anything so go ahead and prioritize these two so that we can get that accomplished and they can actually start tearing into some of those because we do have a bunch of beavers doing nothing with their hands. There we go. Now we've got the bad water dome in. That's great. You guys can empty that out. Don't have to pull 
or waste any more of our time filling that in and let's see what is going on over here i think they have not put in a large storage device for all of our gear so i'm going to go ahead and toss one of those in probably a bit unnecessary but nothing wrong with having a little bit of gear storage on hand that will be a lower priority because we do have a decent amount of gear storage readily available so i'm not too concerned about that all right so all the explosives are gone in except for these last few little bits here that's good and now we've got these explosives in right there these are in so that's fantastic that's gonna clear some stuff up for us and we can now go ahead and toss in our water pumper our, our large water pump put that yeah and then we're gonna have to move those stairs over one to accommodate that placement here and that will be our next priority as far as that's concerned so we can start maneuvering this I want to get this done it's gonna be pointless to have all this all filled in with water if we can't actually pull it out right yeah so, that should be good that's gonna be the same height but uh let's see here i would like them to come around on this side and we'll wrap around the front like so i'm sorry uh we're we're making it not like i uh i originally promised their friends but uh it, it has to be done it has to be done that's one lower than that that's cool now we're going to come in here on this side we're going to fill this side in and that should not cause any problems and do the same right here like so pull those out yeah and right yeah and put in two additional large water pumps right here that's at four height that should be good no qualms no issues there go ahead and throw in some stairs delete this portion right here because that's unnecessary that's a waste of lumber boom pull this path around please thank you there we go and delete this. boom cool that's done that is in we can go ahead and pull these guys out delete those delete this path realize that i just made a mistake in putting that right there so i'm gonna delete that i have to delete these portions right here uh that wasn't necessary no 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 i just wanted to delete the path not the yep oh i messed that up that's fine it's fine that's gonna go there i'm gonna go ahead and pull all of this up by one like that and then we're gonna put in this water there we go a large pump right here and right there that's what i was supposed to be doing instead of what i just did but that's fine we'll get that fixed up did I go too high? No, I didn't go too high. I just put two highs there. Not two highs. So what I was supposed to do. Oops, there we go. That's simple, fixed, and done. Boom, boom. Now we've got to somehow finagle our way here. And that will look something like this. That. Put a two three there another three and a single right here and a path next like so and that will provide us ample amount of water for all of the things that should keep up demand while this is all getting built i'm probably gonna have to bust this up the priority just because oh wow they already put all of that in 
Well, let's hope that, that didn't burn through too many of our planks and everything that we were going to need in order to accomplish this stuff. Let's see here. I think this lower portion should be higher priority than this top portion because we're getting to the point where they're pulling from the lower half anyway. So I am going to put this up higher. Like that. There we go. Now they are going to have to put that in, though. Down and around and do all of that. That shouldn't be much of an ask. I'm loving it a lot. Sweet. That's going in. This is almost ready. Could put in these last few pieces of dynamite right here. Tear that out. And we can plus this side up because we are running into a problem with our metal production okay that is good now we just need to nagle the power in and that should be simple as simple as tearing this out and then doing and dropping it right so let's go ahead and prep the battle space if you will let's go ahead and Throw that in right here. Wait, did they add? No, the, the, okay, never mind. So, that should be good, right? Yeah. All of these little marks here are points that go in. That should not be an issue right there. So, that's right there, and this goes right there. Boom. Done. And that should provide the, uh, power that we need to actually accomplish that position you guys don't need to be in here though right now there's no power and the priority is getting this all built so apparently they are doing this in the wrong way Can you guys build the things that i told you to build in the appropriate uh, ways that i told you to do the thing please that would be appreciated come on now come on too far from district it's too far from district not too far from the district. See, you guys can... Okay. okay, okay. Disregard. You guys keep doing what you do best, which is cause pain and suffering for me. I believe in you. All right, so while they're working on that, we can get our farmers working on some additional things over here. I didn't realize that was in that position. Okay, that's simple. Now we can put in some more foodstuffs back in here. We can throw in some more wheat. Why not? More wheat for all of the things. More back in here. I could do the rational thing. Oh, I'm putting in cattails. Why am I putting in cattails? I could do the rational thing. Throw in some of our... um. How would you put that in here? Oh. Take the take it out. Take it out. Cattail seedlings don't belong up here, guys. How did that even get put in? I don't have an aquatic farmhouse over here. Can the regular farmhouses actually put in the No. No. Ooh. Well, that's not good. Yep. Oops. I need to stop doing that. Did I actually set these up? Should put this at 25. Great. That should stop it. And that's wasted water. Yep. That's wasted water. That's not good. Oh, okay. Did this actually close? No, it did not. Well, it's probably... It didn't close, probably, because this side didn't actually reach 0.5. So, oops. Uh, cool. That's in... You guys, well, you guys have already finished it, so just put in the last piece, please. And then we can keep running things. Guys, were redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. You did it in all the wrong ways. You're supposed to build here. You were not doing the chosen things. 
You ridiculous goobers, you. It's a lot of you. It's a lot of you. See, this is why we can't have nice things. Because you guys do ridiculous things. Okay. 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 You have... Did I not build one of those? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, it should be scrap metal right there. Sweet. So we do have storage for copious amounts of scrap metal. Cool. 1,800 of that. We've got plenty of plank storage, plenty of paper storage. Iron or metal block storage is good. Gears, that's low on the priority list. And I think I could do that. Oh, wow. Our, uh, our lumber situation is getting good. And these guys are tearing it up over here. I love to see it. Let's get some help for these guys, though. So they don't have to run back and forth by themselves. And the haulers can haul a few more logs per trip than our lumberjacks can. This is all in, so that's good. That's got another 15-ish days between all of these to keep going. I've already paused all of those positions, so that shouldn't be an issue. Are you guys seriously not going to accomplish this? Well, I did tell you guys. So, telling you to do a high priority over another high priority thing isn't exactly how this works. So, I'm going to pull that down. And you guys can finish that. See, that wasn't too hard now, was it? No. That was, that was quite simple. Huh. Um, da -da -da. While they're working. It actually, no. How is this coming along? That uh, needs all the planks and the gears and some of the middle blocks. We've got all that still running in the background. That shouldn't cause an issue. And could put a priority on this. We could start slowly working our way towards actually acquiring our first timber bot. And I'm not opposed to that. So let's go ahead do that if we can get this going then we can actually get industry going like hardcore strong fast hardcore industry we can put all of our regular beavers to work doing productive things like producing food and all the things for themselves as well as producing enough stuff for the timber bots for biofuel and so on and so forth which is not doing at all and once we have the timber bots in place we can actually come over here and start doing some of this crazy stuff we can reconnect this path so that they can get over here they can crawl through the bad water the timber bots can they can build all of this but we're gonna need to get to the point where we have at least 12 oh yeah i forgot i had water in here oh i oh, have none back here though do i no, i don't i don't have a bit of water back there all right, so you guys don't need to be in there. You don't need to be in there either. We can go ahead and probably delete this one. No, there's no reason to delete it. I'll leave it be. If uh, push comes to shove, we need to get in there and get some additional water. That's where we can go to. Now, what I should do is probably expand our water storage because I'm basically going to be doubling the amount of water required because the timber bots do require water so we'll go ahead and expand that connect to all that that should be enough water in there to last us four days the hunter beavers hopefully great we go through about 220 units of water per day we've got 2,000 units so we've got essentially enough water on hand for 10 days worth of beavery goodness and then with these two additional storage tanks that give us another 1200 units of water to store so that gives us another five days ish six days ish i think mathing in public with all my friends yeah that shouldn't cause any consternation i kind of want to blow this up now but i also know that there's no reason to because i haven't any of this out put in all the things let's see where does this sluice gate want to go let's see um tear that out right there 
going to need to blast this down a little bit. Give this a priority bump here. And then we'll have them put in the sluice gates. Actually, I think what I needed to do is blast this down one more level right here. So I wanted to do that. So only we've got three and a half days to actually get this accomplished. So I'm going to need you guys to dip it up a little bit. Step it up, guys. Come on. Go, 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 go. Put in those last little bits. Okay, sweet. That's done. Nobody should be running all over that. So that's awesome. Now they should be able to reach this. Put that in like that. And then we'll throw in our levees on top of all this. And then that can feed into that system without any issues. And the question is, can they reach everything they can? Sweet. So that is going to be priority right here. So we'll get that accomplished. We've got the water in or, or large water pumpers in. So that's good. That is going to provide us ample amount of water and make it through the last few days of this drought. This is going to go in hopefully soon. I, I should stop saying hopefully because, well, hope, hope only gets you so far. Oh my goodness. Maple syrup is running. I love it. I love to see it. Now. Let's see here. Thinking doubles here. The knee doubles here. Yes. Triples here. Singles here. And we can put a few more houses in this little nook right there without any issues and that will help us expand our beaver population just a tidbit. That's in. And we can actually turn these on. That's in. Power's running. So that's good. We should have enough material to get a few of our timber bots up and running. We're kind of lacking in the iron production. But I think that's just a matter of scrap metal because I did have this turned off over here for a period of time but that should get rectified here shortly we do have eight kits seven kits that are running around that's good where can we put in more there we can actually pull this over a little bit well Pull this path in, connect that path right there, and then we can have all that. We probably could tear out some of this storage over here that's unnecessary, but we've already got it covered by the rooftop terraces, so I don't think that's going to be helpful. Did I select? No, I did not. Um, I did pause the centrifuge, so that's not helpful. They got this in really quick, so that's fantastic, actually. We are going to have to tear this out right here and right here. Go ahead and put in this explosive there. Um, can't pull any of that out. Of the I'm going to let that be a second and then uh, actually go ahead and delete those two because I it. there we go no that's not what i wanted to do please listen to me there we go sweet priority bump get it accomplished do the thing we got less than or just at a day we have 11 unconnected buildings yep because i just caused that motion Need those last two pieces of dynamite tossed in, and then we can reconnect all this. Kind of need you guys up here to do the things, because we need the bad water. What was that showing you? One? What do we only have one of? What do we only have one of? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll let that be for now. Sweet. 
blow that all up. That's going to cause a problem. Well, let's see what happens there. It didn't cause that much of a problem. Look how much is irrigated now, though. That's beautiful. Yep. It doesn't... Well, it doesn't exactly look that beautiful, but it's okay. <laughs> Everything's irrigated now. So, we can actually do some more planting of things like our sunflower seed. There you go. On that, so that's gorgeous. Look at all this. It's all green now. You gotta, you gotta love to see it. You know. Now, the question is, can one of these fluid dumps actually keep up with the demand for this entire area? The answer is probably no. So... Uh, I want this closed above that height. That should... So this should dump in here, fill in this area until it reaches a point nine, then it should close off, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yes. We are approaching our first summer bot. Waiting on some chassis here. And oh yeah, I need biofuel, duh. Um biofuel bio, bio, biofuel is in the refinery. Is one of those weird shaped buildings that's sideways. Okay, so I'll let them work on the chassis and all of the bot heads while they can. Probably need some storage for all of that, which is simple. That can go in some medium warehouses. Um, probably should have put the, the storage for all of the bot factory pieces down here. But I didn't. So that's on me. Go ahead and throw in limbs on that side. Throw in the heads over here. And then I guess we could toss in two small warehouses for the chassis. This is, this is temporary, guys. Don't worry. We'll get it fixed. When I get up to the top of this whole scenario or situation up here. Because I'm going to be stacking on top of here where we need to be going. All right, we have Slinky and Dorito Savior in here. Let's go ahead. And I think we can start pulling from the potatoes. For Spatter Dock. No, we're not doing that hot on Spatter Dock. Somebody ruined all this over here. I didn't even realize that the drought was over. Oops. All right, so. Close above 0.5. Oh, I got to click the button. Now it closes. That should start backfilling here. Right? Yes. And as time progresses, that should empty out one way or another this is going to all fill in now wow they they <laughs> they almost ran into a problem uh-huh yep we almost ran into a problem it's okay it's okay we're good nothing to be afraid of guys nothing to be concerned about it's fine okay it's gonna be okay Everything's going to be all right. You know, we've got this. Now we've got... Yeah. It's doing it's doing the thing. It's filling it in. Which is what we wanted to see. Water's moving. This should reach up to a pretty decent height. Those two will get paused here soon. Because they'll be flooded and we won't be able to pump from them. And then that'll get flooded as well. Probably unpause this one just because we need the water. We can probably pause a couple of our building huts because we don't need that many right now. I don't think I have anything too crazy going as far as building is concerned. 
We've already got these two in. So that's going to bring our max storage capacity up to 7,500, which is a decent amount. That's already flooded, so we can unpause those two. That's going to put us still in a pretty bad position as far as our beaver population is concerned. That did go in fast. Go ahead and get you prioritized by haulers. I don't think you two need to be, or you four need to be prioritized by haulers, but I will allow that to be working there. And now we need a place to store all of biofuel. And I think that's going to have to be... Well, I wanted to get up here anyway, so I guess we might as well start doing that now. Yep, that's going to mean doing that. Actually, not there. Doing that right here, and then doing the doubles all the way across here. And then we can throw in our stairs. So, and then path that there, path this here. Path all along this backside. And there we go. And probably tear this out at some point. I'm not sure when I want to do that, but that's okay for now. Water is creeping back up into the positive direction, so that's good. This is still filling in. That has stopped the water where it needs to be stopped, and it's not caused a flood yet, so that's good. That means that we did something and i'm excited i'm excited we have a few things a little bit more time left for you guys to get your first bit how long does it take we have biofuel on hand we do do you have biofuel on hand yes you do you are already creating our first timber bot let's freaking go Malty Matsuka creating our first timber bot. Doing amazing things for timber born society. You love to see it. You love to see it, guys. They're doing it. Not exactly where I intended to take this video today, but it's fine. It's great. We have vlogs. We have housing. We've got our first timber bot. Where's he at? I don't know where he's run off to. Let's find him. Where are you at, Timberbot One? Look at you, my guy. Look at you. Doing Timberbot things, just wandering around aimlessly. You're so adorable. Look at you. You are going to do great things for Beaver Society, there, Mr. Timberbot, and I appreciate you for it. Go ahead and unlock something for you to do. I don't know what we're going to do with you first, but it's probably going to be something like uh, getting to the smelter. Because that's painful for... Actually, no. Let's see. 5,000 science to get in there. 10,000. Yeah. Go ahead and get you in here. So, Timberbot 1 will be producing bot limbs for us. We do need to actually expand our battery system now since we do have timber bots running. They will run 24 7, and if they don't have the power to do so, then they aren't really going to be very helpful for us. Things back up to speed where they belong and see if we can blast out a little bit more of this. Maybe store a little bit more power always good you know i don't think that triple dynamite's there dynamite is there but okay we'll let that be i do need to unpause this that is our drought it is an 18 day drought that's fine we've got plenty of water to play with and soon we can actually get over here blast all this out store even more water but we didn't really fill the entire system up over here as well as I thought we would but that's okay I think that's what we're going to call it though look at this we've got water we've got 
We've got timber bots. We've got food. We've got lumber. We've got all the things. It's so beautiful. We are taking over this map. And it's amazing. That's where I'm going to call it, guys. I hope you had a fantastic time enjoying this video with me. Please, if you would, be so kind. Hit that like button. And if you want to, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, too. We're, we're moving forward. Things are looking fantastic. I'm so excited that we actually busted through that 500 mark. Go fast. It's amazing. I, I need to go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Wherever you're in the world, make sure you guys keep yourselves nice and hydrated. Make sure your, your beaver is nice and hydrated as well. And stay thirsty, my friends. Wow. See ya! I voted, Kimmy. No, you can't outvote me. I'm the dictator. <laughs> this isn't a democracy. <laughs> no, it's not a cult. <laughs> you yourself and I are all the members. All in your head, Draken. There is not a cult, Jay. No. <laughs> I'm just the dictator. <laughs>